the guy still wearing a mask in 2023? I'll pick him. I still, yeah, I saw a guy on the plane yesterday wearing a mask. Got yeah. rock, rock hard when I saw him. Listen, I feel bad for them. I really do. At this point, I feel bad for them. I just feel like they're just they're just not getting good information. They're lost. They're scared. They're I get, I get it. I get the. It did that fucked me up as far as like because for like a year I was afraid of like talking close to people. I was afraid you know what I mean? for. I was afraid for quite a few months. For how, however long that was, I yeah. was that like fucked me up for a while. Yeah, I feel like until I got to Texas, I was afraid. Yeah, but L. A. was afraid. Like, it was in the air. Yeah. Like, people were freaked the fuck out, man. They were weirded out. Like, the, B- Bill Burr and his podcast was yelling at someone who was across the street who didn't have a mask on. <laughs> he talked about it on the podcast. What? No mask? Bill was yeah. all in on that nonsense. He was. But I swear to God, it's in the air there. I feel like if he was here, he wouldn't have done that. There, there's a thing that's real. Yeah. And you could feel it when you go to other countries for sure. Is that people have... There's a different vibe that the people there have. And if you're, we are, vibes and people's uh, thoughts and their energy is very contagious. It's very contagious. And if you're around people that are freaked out, you're going to be more freaked out than you would be if you're around people who weren't. And most people have a certain level of anxiety anyway. I mean, there's a reason why they're selling so much Xanax. There's a reason why so many people are on SSRIs. There's a lot of people out there that are not on a good path, whether it's because of their own fault or whether it's decisions that were made that affected them or there's the way they were raised or the fucking environment they find themselves in. I'm not casting any blame on people, but there's a certain percentage of the population that is just already fucked up. And then COVID came along and it just ran. And I think there was more people that are already fucked up in these high population ur- urban areas. And I think yeah. it's just natural because I don't think people are supposed to be like stacked on top of each other like that. Like one of the things that I felt when I went to Scotland, you feel relaxed, like almost immediately. And I was like, I think, and we were all talking about this. We were like, I think when you're around a shit ton of people, whether you recognize it or not, there's something you're experiencing. There's energy you're experiencing, whether it's just because there's so many numbers and you're paying attention to all these different people mm-hmm. and kind of like seeing, looking around you and, and taking in all this data, whether it's a lot of yeah, noise yeah, yeah. or whether it's like there's physical energy that comes off of people that we just don't know how to measure yet. Yeah, I'm more inclined to think that because I, this is why I like the mountains so much. When I go to the mountains, dude, I feel better. Yeah. Like you feel like... Like, it, whatever the f- yeah, yeah, is yeah. fucking with people in cities. And so if you go to cities and everybody's all ramped up and crazy, like, why are they so ramped up like that, but they're not in Scotland? Yeah. Well, because you're not supposed to be stacked on top of each other like that. This is some new thing we're trying out. Yeah, I get in a bad mood. It's not good for you. You got to walk behind someone slow. Oh, God, yeah. I'm just furious all day. And Traffic people in and New then York, that, yeah. they behave as if you're not going to punch them. They like knock into you and talk shit. I've I've seen people talk shit to people (laughs) for no reason on the street. Like this is wild. Yeah, and they get punched. Yeah, they should. New York, they continuously get punched and keep going. Some guy hit my fucking car with a briefcase once, (laughs) and I came that close to stopping the car. Yeah, I was coming home from some stupid fucking audition that I didn't want to do, and this dork. This dork in his glasses, and I was in the intersection, and the, my light was green, and they were all jaywalking, and he just decided to hit my fucking car mm. with his bat, with his fucking briefcase. If it wasn't a piece of shit car, I might have brained him. Got him. I was thinking about braining him. Just got him. I was thinking, I was thinking about spinning just, back heel. <laughs> I was just gonna hit the fucking e brake and just run out and brain him. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's just shit. shut him off, and no one would do anything. Back then, I could have got away with it, too, because this is the 90s. It wasn't like there was cameras anywhere, because his head probably would have bounced off the concrete, and that would have been a wrap. That's how people die, dude. Like, if you're going to brain someone in the street, you really should kick him in the body. You hit him with a body 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 kick kick him. Yeah, you really should body kick him, because you don't want to kill him. Yeah. You want him to hurt. If you kick someone in the head in the street, you very, very likely could kill them. There's like a two out of ten possibility that you're going to kill them. 
That would get you some respect in prison, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? If they're like, what, hey, what's bro, he in for? He hit my fucking car with a briefcase. I roundhoused him and he died. <laughs> like, oh, shit. The earth killed him. I didn't kill him. I and just like, knocked You him know, out. cum's good for your butt? You're like, oh, I heard it's bad what? for your butt. <laughs> what? That's what I heard. I heard <laughs> yeah. it's bad. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just don't like the level of tension that's involved when there's so many people around. I get, I, get, I mean, it's still here. It's <clears> in there's, Austin. There's it's like this traffic. attitude, this yeah. urban attitude. Yeah, it's not that bad here, though, dude. Even there's just not enough people here. The the level, the yeah. feeling. What why I got here when I first moved here, I was like, oh, this is the right number of people. Yeah, it's like a number of people where you can sustain a, a like great restaurants. You could sustain a great university. You could sustain a bunch of good businesses. Like yeah. this, it's plenty big. Yeah, it's definitely better than New York as far oh, as... Oh, God, yeah. Although I was there yesterday and uh, just say the the plaza near the Central Park. It was fucking Great. nice. I was just walking around. Dude, I love visiting. It was very nice. I love visiting yeah. New York. Yeah. Yeah. I got these guys in the Bronx, GNR Deli. You ever, you ever have... No. F- dude, this is like the best Italian, I never went to the fucking Bronx. Italian sub I've ever had yeah. in my fucking life. It's called the Bronx Godfather. We went, and the last time we went for the UFC. These fucking WAPs are never original. What are you talking about? You Italians. Like, this one's the Godfather. I, I didn't name you it. You Italians. <laughs> My people named <laughs> yeah. it. But, dude, it's fucking, it's the best food. It's terrible for you. These people all look like they're just filled with inflammation. They're just eating pasta all day. But, goddamn, the they look like they're Bronx. having a Who great a time. Yeah. They're having a great time. Yeah. They're, they're eating. Just God grow bless. Up, dude. Just grow up. Forget about your diet. This guy always says that. Forget what? about your diet. Then they watch the Yankees not make the playoffs. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> fuck! That's what I wanted. This is, t- come on, look at this guy's subs. Shut the fuck up. Tell yeah. me that doesn't make that's a chicken cutlet. Come on, son. Look Alex. at that. Look, look at this sandwich. Look at this when they're slicing this thing open. Tell me you're not hungry. I actually, I am hungry. Oh, <laughs> look at these guys. guys. <laughs> He's hungry too. He's look at his face. To munch, it, it was looking. He was about to fuck. He had a. Fa- <laughs> That's my friend Tommy. That's my friend Tommy Junior. I've been friends with that dude for. He's about to fuck one of these 30 sandwiches. Years. You could fuck one of those sandwiches. You could if you had to. Oh, um, no problem. Great people though. Fucking the nicest people. Salt of the yeah. earth, and the food is insane. But I just. Uh, I don't know how we got to that. <laughs> what were we talking about? Mm. How did we get to sandwiches? Living in cities sucks, I but uh, I was just but in yeah, New York. But, you, but they have great food. New yeah. York has the best Italian food. Yeah. It's so good. I fucking love going there. I love going there. Yeah. I, I, I do. I wouldn't say I miss New York, but I do. I, I, I like going. New York rules. I just don't want to live there. Yeah. I'm too whatever it is. Whatever it is. I like, I like wilderness. I want a ranch. That's what I want. I want some place where there's like I'm I'm wake up I see deer and I hear birds chirping 